Okay, friends and fellow YouTubers, it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. I am finally going to add a playback circuit to the homemade tape recorder project. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. First, however, I want to get all of this stuff here onto a board. Got a couple of offcuts here from the, uh, the homemade record player project. So I think this will be a good board for the amplifier and, um, you know, recording amplifier and bias. And this one will be for a playback circuit. We probably won't even need that much board, but yeah. Guess I better get started. Well, here it is the recording circuit. Now on a piece of, um, oh look at that, I forgot I left it on and it's picking up when I speak. But yeah, there it is, a recording circuit, onto a separate board now. The pro um, oh, this thing here is now looking a lot more, less, packed with stuff. I'm sorry, I haven't had much sleep. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I decided to replace that one I see, you know, that this, with a couple of ordinary op amps. One of them's a dual op amp. I mean, this one is like a single op amp, this one's a dual op amp. Because I was only using three op amps, so I thought I might just as well go with that. Yeah, but with all that done, now time to bring on the play circuit. Okay, so here is the tape recorder playback circuit. Now, I'm not taking credit for this. I mean, my name's not Mike. That's the person who came up with this circuit. So this is what I'm going to build for the playback. Although, I'm not going to bother with the power amplifier bit here because I don't have the specified transistors. And if I tried that with other transistors, it almost certainly won't work, so I'm just going to leave that alone for now, but this part here, I'm pretty sure that will work with pretty much any silicon transistor, so that's what I'm going to get on and do right now. And I really hate myself because I got this video all edited, ready to export, and then I forgot that I hadn't shot this part yet, so that's why I'm doing it here. Alright, I'm going to stop this recording so I actually can get on with this stupid thing. Well, we're well on our way now. Well, I guess I'd better solder this lot up then. Okay, here it is. The tape recorder preamp. This amplifier was made in Japan. No, it wasn't. It was made in England. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Alright, so here it is, the completed preamp for the homemade tape recorder. I've had to make a few small changes. First off, I don't have any BC108 transistors at my disposal, so I've had to substitute these for 2N3904s. Hopefully that will still work. I think it will. Also, I don't have a 0.22 microfarad capacitor at my disposal, so I've just had to make up one from two capacitors parallel together. So, let's hook this up and see if it works. I'm going to be powering this on 12 volts, so I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue, even though this was designed for 9 volts, according to the schematic. But it's all hooked up, we've got the tape head connected to it, and the other end is going to my amplifier. So, let's give it a listen. Okay. I can hear a little bit of hiss from the speaker, so I know it's doing something. Oh, that's going to have to be sorted out. Need to shield this whole thing. Well, let's give it a listen. Okay. 
Okay. Well, it works. We've got a couple of problems. As you can probably hear, we're getting a ton of interference from the motor. Also, a lot of buzz when I touch anything metal, but I anticipated this, that it might do that. And I know just what to do. There we are. Run a lead from the case of the motor to the circuit ground. So now when I touch it, no more buzz, and no more motor noise. There is one small issue. There's no base at all. I don't think it's this. It might be the capacitor I put on the input there. It might be a bit too small, but it works. Okay. I've replaced that capacitor with a bit of a bigger one. Don't think it's made much of an improvement. But you know something? Let me just turn it off so you can hear me. I think we're seeing a first in Call Duty Clem's Electronic Workshop. I built a circuit and it worked. I mean, literally, that time you saw me test it was the very first power up and it works. No short circuits or opens or anything like that. This is going to be on the world news tonight. Okay, so we have a working tape head preamp. There is one small problem, however. Now, I'm powering this and the tape motor from the same power supply, and I'm sure you'll notice right away when I put this into play or fast forward or anything that involves the motor turning, that pretty much speaks for itself. And that'll get even worse if I disconnect the ground. We need to do something about that. Of course, um, this is where the camera stop button is, isn't it? So what can we do about this problem? Well, we could add filter capacitors until the cows come home, but here's a much simpler solution. All we need to do is put a capacitor across the preamps supply rails which is this capacitor here and then put a resistor in line with the power supply and that will smooth out the power going to the preamp now this originally did have I think a 2.2k resistor or something like that in line with the supply but stuff so I'll take this wire off here Okay, reconnect the motor, and of course because the camera is rolling this wire is refusing to connect. I'm trying to do this all in one shot, okay I'll twist it this way. One way or another this wire is going to reconnect whether it likes it or not. Okay, so there's our motor going again. And there's our noisy preamp. Let's put a resistor in there. In this case, a 470 ohm. And viola. No more motor noise. Better not play too much of that because I don't know if I'll get my ass handed to me by the YouTube copyright police, so yeah. 
Okay, my camera seems to have gone absolutely berserk with the iris. Everything was swamped out in that previous shot. But anyway, we have a record circuit and a play circuit. We need some way of connecting these together. And this is my plan, hopefully if you can see that. So this is my basic plan of the tape recorder. We've got a record amp here, playback amp here, and a power amp, which is my main amplifier. A record playhead, a race head, and a few switches. So we can switch between recording and playback mode. So, when it's in recording mode, this switch will go over here, so it's applying power to the record amplifier. This switch here is going to connect the head to the record amplifier. And this switch here is going to connect the power amp to the auxiliary line output of the recording amplifier. So we can monitor what's being recorded. Pretty simple stuff. Playback is the exact opposite. This switch is now going to apply power to the playback amplifier. This switch is going to connect the head to the playback amplifier. And this switch here is going to connect the power amplifier to the playback amplifier. Mainly because we don't want this on when we're trying to play back a tape, or it's just going to raise the tape. But of course, in order to do that switching, we're going to need a switch. A proper switch. But that's going to be in the next... I don't know why my voice exploded out of my mouth then, but... But that's going to be in the next video. And that's going to be in the next video. Until next time, goodbye.